All right, so Zhao Zhao, it's a pleasure to be here with you in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress. And uh, I'm eager to understand more about this idea of a digital twin for networks. It's something that you and I have discussed in the past, but it's been in a little different context. So just help me understand the idea of creating a digital twin for a network. Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, as we discussed before, right? digital twin, the concept itself, itself is not new. So actually, even starting from 4G and early 5G days, people were using the digital twin, for example, for smart city, for smart fat manufacturing. But the main uh, underlying principle there is still connectivity from wireless perspective. And you collect more wireless data, and you use that for different diagnostics, for city, for manufacturing operation. So the digital twin network, which we discussed today, is to use digital twin to create a digital network to mimic the physical network. And with this, you can, di uh, di you can do lots of analytics of the network operation, including uh, coverage planning, planning, capacity planning, and also help the network operation by itself. So the overall concept is to reduce the network cost and also make it easier to deploy and also manage. Okay, so you outlined a lot of value there that can be had from a digital twin of a real network. How do you sustain the value? How do you make that dynamic? How do you make the digital twin responsive to changes in physical conditions? Yes, okay, that's a very good question. So once you have a digital twin network, so you can manipulate in the physical domain, say, okay, what if I add another base station here? What if I not add another slice? Whether the current network is able to sustain uh, the additional requirement coming from adding another slice, or you see, okay, I want to do energy saving. Uh, if I reduce one frequency layer, am I able to sustain the network capacity with the current requirement? Or if you're willing to spend some of the costs, say reduce 10%, of the user experience, but you're still able to achieve 50% energy efficiency. So those things, if you do that, manipulate in the physical world, it's going to, it may cause user interruption. Sometimes the operation may not be recommended for a given situation, but you can manipulate that in the digital world first. And then you only command the operation when it's up to your requirement. So that sort of virtuous cycle that you could create where you can make physical changes, see them digitally, make digital changes and understand what they might do to your physical environment, that's quite impactful for a network operator. But just lay out for us, when operators have this technology in hand and can use it, what's the big picture look like? What's, what's fundamentally different there? Right, yeah. So as we're moving to 5G advance and 6G, right, so you can see there are more use cases and more requirement coming in the picture and also more frequency bands. And then when people starting designing the 6G, uh, there's also a proposal saying, okay, what if uh, you need to aggregate with the existing band or if uh, you want to do spectrum sharing with the existing band to have a better coverage link. So all, all of this is going to create more and more challenges or considerations at least when you the network operator deploy the network. So now with this digital twin, so you can manipulate the things in a digital domain. And then for example, you can see, okay, if I want to do spectrum sharing with 5G, if I, when, once I have 6G, then you can see how much resources you can allocate to 6G between 5G so that you do not hurt 5G user experience while still satisfying the 6G user experience. So this is just an example. As the research and on the wireless connectivity is moving forward, and also the deployment on the 5G is getting more and more mature and more and more penetrating, we, uh, we expect lots and lots of experience and the use cases that were going to be covered by the network. So this digital twin network, the concept is to make the operator, make the deployment easier to manage and also make, a, uh, make the bar of deployed network to be lower and the management to be lower as well. Yeah, as we go on to 5G advanced and then 6G past that, just the, the exercise of managing complexity, it seems like this would be an incredibly valuable tool. So I appreciate you taking the time to explain that to me and our audience. Thank you very much. Thank you.